Hello chess friends and welcome to Zaros chess channel and welcome to, to my Zen chess series. Uh, today we're gonna uh, show you how to play against the bayonet attack. Uh, the bayonet attack it's uh, basically uh, it's a sideline of the, of the orthodox variation, but I decided to to make make it uh, as a special variation because. Uh, well, we have a different kind of approach here, and uh, let's see how how it goes. Uh, the, the game that I want to show you, an instructive game, how you should play against the bayonet attack. It was played between two grandmasters, Evgeny Barev and Vasily Spasso. And let's see let's see uh, the importance of of this uh, variation. So again, we have this d4, knight f6, c4. Bishop uh, g6, knight c3, bishop to g7, e4, d6, uh, bishop to e2, castling, knight f3, uh, e5, castling, knight to c6, d5, and now knight to e7, and of course we have this orthodox setup, but uh, the difference that uh, in this uh, ninth move is that the white plays immediately b4 you see it's uh, it's of course called an attack because you see um, white is uh, already on the attack on the uh, queen side uh, with the preparation of uh, c5 and uh, well you can make many mistakes here so uh, but the thing is that you should uh, notice something here uh, the thing uh, that in this classical orthodox lines that I showed you uh, was the difference that uh, knight to e1 was played. So this was uh, liberating this diagonal, so the the knight couldn't uh, can couldn't jump in this uh, types of variation. So the continuation was knight to d7. And uh, the other thing is that uh, with this move of uh, b2 to b4, uh, this knight uh, was is uh, left unprotected and uh, but white decides here to go straight forward on the attack in this uh, i've told you in this opposite side attacks in this race situation uh, if you can use a tempo uh, so that's the main idea here and well you may think here you may think here that uh, uh, you can block this position by playing maybe a5 and then if of course uh, uh, if, if you play a5 uh, a3 is not a possibility because of this queen on the rook if you take then uh, uh, white cannot uh, take on b4 because of the pin on, on the rook and because it's not connected uh, to the queen and um, well, many players have seen you you will see games uh, in, in with grandmasters that play a5 but that's not what i want you what you uh, want to do because um, we want to play in our style that i've showed you uh, we want to attack create an attack first and we want to attack back so let's see maybe the continuation uh, the continuation the wild white will uh, surely play after a5 is to move bishop to a3 now if you take take uh, of course again you see uh, c5 is this weakness and you see uh, white is already in, on the attack on your queen side and uh, well it's not so it's not so easy here so of course you will play uh, b6 but now comes uh, a4 with the preparation of a5 so uh, you may play something like i don't know uh, knight mm, no knight to d7 and of course this will come and uh, after taking 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 and of course you have blocked the c5 but now possibilities are to play maybe the knight on a4 with the preparation of c5 and uh, many players will probably play here the move f5 and that's that's the thing i don't want you to do because you i i said it you don't want you you don't want uh, to to uh, open some files or diagonals on your king so now the possibility here is 
uh, to play uh, knight on g5 of course you cannot take here with the discover because the queen would take first with with the check on the king and uh, you will lose a piece so don't do that of course and uh, and uh, if you play something like h6 knight to e6 is falling so uh, of course you can you can see um, uh, in some variations where we played the uh, uh, let's see the continuation here uh, so just pardon me uh, if you play something like uh, here of course then uh, after this uh, trade and now f5 in multiple li lines you will see uh, this again this uh, knight on g5 and now after uh, h6 now again comes this knight to e6 and um, if you take uh, uh, white will take white will take uh, with this uh, with this pawn and i promise you it's hard for you to go for this uh, for, for for this pawn of course knight of d5 is coming on the attack on c7 uh, so if you take then uh, he will take with some with this or this pawn and will totally block you out again leaving this uh, <coughs> c7 weakness and the other thing is and the other thing is that uh, that you haven't created an attack on, on the king side so your your lack of an attack that's not what i want you to do so uh, of course see see many games uh, of course there are many games uh, played with with this knight on e6 man e6 maneuver where, where you allowing allowing uh, white to go there and uh, to, well but it's in a different move order and uh, different lines so i just recommend you know not to go straight forward on this on this uh, a5 uh, thing so you we should play in king's indian style and now king's indian styles to go for an attack uh, ourselves so uh, I said it before with this l leaving this knight on f3 you can play and what uh, what <coughs> black played here now he played to move knight to h5 and uh, you see uh, two possibilities basically are f here for white uh, he can play this move g3 in my next video I will show you the continuation when white plays g3 but uh, in this the the thing is that uh, he prevents uh, uh, black to play knight on f4 uh, but uh, in this game white decided not to weak his king side and tried a different maneuver and he played the rook on e1 of course uh, after knight on f4 uh, he played here just uh, hiding his bishop from the knight and uh, well so it's sort of a controlation uh, control of these pieces uh, <coughs> to each other so uh, it's it's a uh, it's a good maneuver by the bishop and it's still standard theory it's uh, it's often played so now I'd recommend you to play uh, a5. It's a little bit different now because now you see with this knight on uh, f4 it controls the, the, the this weak square on x e6. It's now a little bit different. So uh, and it's supported by this bishop. So if uh, the knight somehow jumps into that uh, weak x square, of course you will take it with the knight and then with the bishop. And uh, now it's uh, it's uh, it's better for you. So, uh, after taking uh, here this uh, this uh, pawn on a5, now uh, white goes for the a4, uh, preparing maybe something like bishop to a3, and then plays uh, uh, c5 or uh, similar moves. Uh, but now f5, I said it. Now it's it's possible because. You see, you mean uh, you may think, uh, of course, now he will uh, take out this protector of 
of this week E6. But of course, I've said it, it there's no support on this uh, knight on uh, C3, so it would be liberating this good diagonal for the bishop. So that's the, that's the setup I'm recommending you. But let's see how the uh, game went on. <coughs> now, uh, White decided to uh, give protection to this knight, and now you see. Now uh, Black decides to play h6. He doesn't allow him to go for this e6. It's really dangerous. It's, uh, uh, I recommend watch watch some games and see it for yourself. How it's it's uh, hard for you to get out, uh, get rid of this pawn after taking uh, on e6. So uh, I lost many games playing this. Uh, leaving this e6 here pawn and uh, I I was in some variation not able to take it for for the whole game um, now let's see the continuation of the game now uh, by decide to take on f5 but the difference here is now uh, you see if if uh, white takes or black takes with the pawn <coughs> it's not so it's not so dangerous anymore because now this uh, f4 knight it's blocking out this uh, this uh, this pawn and uh, no no continuation of the attack is possible because something like something like uh, e, e, if 4 doesn't bring you so much because the knight could have jumped there and then and then again go for somehow for for the for the e6 so that's that's not uh, so good here it's not so flexible as you think that that they can just push these two pawns uh, of course you have uh, some possibilities to open the g file but it's not so good anymore and it, it, it would be in the previous uh, classical orthodox variation so that's not what happened uh, hit uh, black took with the knight and then came knight on e4 now in our king's indian style black goes for for uh, the simple straightforward attack of course with the threat of playing g4 now uh, now white decides to play g3 he was annoyed a little bit uh, by this knight but of course uh, you see now he doesn't bother uh, to go w w uh, the, the knight on g6 because no f f pawn is there anymore to to be pushed so so that was sort of a the positional positional um, play by white uh, now came knight to g6 uh, and now now uh, black white decides to play c5 he goes some uh, he wants to somehow play maybe bishop to, uh, pardon me bishop to c4 if uh, white takes with the pawn and then something uh, somehow break uh, break the position and opening this uh, diagonal so but i think he should have played uh, more more uh, more uh, more preparing this maybe with this move of bishop to d2 and then in continuation would have been rook to a8 and then maybe c5 but of course then uh, then white would have played g5 and uh, g4 and it wouldn't be good so you see it's not so so possible so white would have uh, played uh, something like maybe b bishop to b2 or playing around because you want to have a have a have a good square for your knight if g g4 something or something comes so that's uh, that's something that what white uh, had to bother and he decided to go to go for this sort of a pawn sacrifice but just to get some space uh, some some attacking space so now well black took uh, of course he done he didn't want to to white take on d6 and now comes the bishop tc4 of course with threat of playing d6 and now a uh, very good blocking blocking maneuver by <coughs> by uh, by black very good square very good defensive square this d6 uh, now 
uh, came a knight from f to d uh, d2 and now uh, well black black decides to even more block this uh, this queen side and i've to told you earlier you don't you just uh, well you have to worry about your weak side too it's not so um c5 d6 uh, c7 that are always the weaknesses and if you're not careful you will probably lose the game somehow so now came bishop to it a2 he just wanted to bring in on the other diagonal that is open so uh well the, uh, it would create some damage of course you see this this knight here on uh, g6 it's weak and now came bishop to f5 uh, it's supporting this uh, light square diagonal so he wants to challenge this bishop on 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 um, and uh, if if it comes to to b1 and now comes bishop to b2 uh, now um, black goes out of this light square diagonal it's sort of a discovered it was a discovered attack on the on the king and uh, after taking now black's position get very fixed here uh, of course the the only the only weakness he has uh, is uh, this uh, <coughs> uh, this b6 pawn but if if he would even lost it it's uh, it's a, it's a good central position here by the pawns very good pawn structure and uh, of although uh, white has this passed pawn it's uh, not so easy to to promote to a queen here so with this many pieces around and this f file opened some threats on the king are here so now he plays of course very good uh, square for the knight knight c4 but a very good uh, move by black not to play it of course on, on a8 now rook to a7 and uh, of course with the with the preparation of of doubling the rooks so now comes rook on e3 and of course very good now you see uh, eventually uh, black is a very good position very good uh, active position of these pieces maybe something like uh, e4 is coming the, the knight uh, the queen uh, can uh, uh, has a flexible position if uh, g, g4 is played and uh, very good uh, i said it before very good central position of the pawns and uh, i don't think that black was worrying about losing this uh, b6 pawn if uh, because white has to lose many tempos to to get it of course it's not it's a target by, for white but it's uh, it would lose many tempos to get it so after uh, uh, bishop to c3 uh, now comes this very good, very good uh, sacrifice of the, the knight because uh, let's see the continuation if he takes. <coughs> so of course an attack on the rook, and now, uh, well, you see, now this uh, these rooks are coming on the on the uh, open G file, and it's really annoying. This was sort of a continuation that I that I put in my computer and you see uh, of course light square problem problems for for the king and now comes f3 somehow to block after taking the queen now comes a very good uh, threat on playing playing uh, bishop to g2 and now after a rook trade uh, here will come check and no no way to stop this pawn from promotion so you see if black was able to calculate all that uh, then he's he's the master for me but i think it would in, there are multiple nights that that this uh, that this uh, that this sacrifice is uh, very applicable for that's but I've said it before you have to find a tactical shot if you want to uh, if you want to win in the King's Indian game so you see with with this leaving this knight on a2 uh, it was sort of uh, left out this 
uh, like squares around the king and uh, that that was uh, something that black noticed so in the game followed bishop to e1 and now come so of course knight on h3 put a check and with the support very annoying stuff now this uh, knight uh, cannot be pushed away by any piece and of course on the attack on f2 and with this uh, rook doubled on, on the f file very good attack by by black now uh, white supports the f2 and now uh, black uh, gets even more pieces on the f file now comes bishop to b1 and but he wants to black wants to stay on like squares because of course uh, he gets the support with his queen and uh, because you see uh, white has these obvious weaknesses uh, on uh, on like squares around the king so let's see a couple moves now comes uh, this uh, h4 and he wanted somehow to block here but after after e4 and rook to a2 now comes queen to queen to uh, h5 and uh, here here black here white resigned because uh, now bishop to d4 is following and uh, no no possibilities uh, for this uh, likes where the rook will, would eventually come and uh, well you see uh, white recognized that he was in losing position so he resigned uh, that's it for today for this uh, bayonet attack I will show you multiple continuation in this uh, this attack how, how you should approach and when when white plays it it's I've, I've told you before it's often played uh, I as a King's Indian player myself played I don't know like 50% I had to play against this bayonet attack and, and I think uh, it will happen to you very often if you if you if you are going to play the King's Indian because uh, I said white has a strategical idea of playing fast on the attack but you should know there are also weaknesses in this types of variation so see you next time thanks you for watching and chess is the best guys